when I have an object ready to render, I want to keep those render nodes as organized and consistent as possible. This is how I do it. I have a null here, which is my out point for this simulation that you can see. And I'm going to select it and right click it, go slingshot, create render nodes from selected. And you'll see it's added this render node parameter in over here. If I come outside, it's created a geometry node in purple with the R underscore prefix. And this is referencing our smoke diamond that you saw earlier. If I dive inside here, its display is completely turned off, but this node will render and it's object merged in our smoke simulation from before. I can also deploy this by selecting the node and going up to slingshot, general, create render nodes from selected. A hidden feature of this setup is if I already have a subnet object level that I call render, then deploying this will place the render node inside that subnet. This can be really useful if you have a scene, especially with 10, 20, 30 render objects. It can be absolutely essential to keep your scene tidy. You can see a material node is laid down in case you want to assign multiple materials inside this setup. You can also see that velocity blur is ticked on by default. If you're interested in seeing more, Slingshot 4 is now available on my Gumroad. Thanks for watching.